Hello all and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Lindsay and I am here with an unboxing today. This is a Goodwill Blue Box that arrived from Dayton, Ohio. I haven't done one of these in a little bit so I am excited to see what they sent me. Kristen D over at Another Chance Resale just opened one of these boxes not too long ago and hers was amazing. So I am very curious to see what I got. Um, I will link her video above if you didn't see it yet. Make sure you check it out. She got gold, um, some sterling, lots of really cool items. So these boxes are always a gamble, um, which is part of the fun because you never know what might be in here. Um, I'm not sure when I ordered this, so I'll see if there's possibly an invoice in there. Um, but it looks like the sticker from FedEx was from May and I think that was around the time she ordered hers. So fingers crossed. If you're new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real and also here on YouTube. I do offer items for sale throughout the video. So if you do see anything you would like to purchase, all I would need is for you to send me an email. My email will be here on the screen and just include a timestamp of the item that you're interested in along with a brief description or a screenshot of the item. And if you put the price in there, that is helpful as well. And I will send you out a PayPal invoice. If you've never bought from me, just make sure you include your uh, mailing address. So let's go ahead and get this open. Brighton suggested on a recent video that you open it from the bottom. So I'm gonna try that. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna move the camera out of the way so I don't shake it and then we'll take a first look. And usually they don't put anything into a plastic bag, it's just thrown into the box. So here is a first look for us. Oh, that might be a little bit too close. So um, I am seeing a lot of beads in there some rhinestones, and um, probably a lot of tangles. So this might take me a little bit to go through. Move any earrings off to the side unless there's an obvious match. Ooh, is this what I think it might be? This sure looks like amber. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get a handful and dive into this box. I don't know if I have batteries in my black light, so um, I'll have to check that, but that definitely looks like amber. It was a little difficult to get um, a handful because everything is super tangled. So I'm just gonna do my best um, to get through everything. You definitely can't rush through these boxes because um, they do take some work to get through. So the first item is a plastic bead necklace and a really pretty pale pink. It does have a lobster clasp. This, um, it looks like this could use a cleaning, but it's not in bad shape. Um, let's do $3 on that piece. Um, so that's great to start off with a wearable piece. Next, um, we'll get the earring out of the way. Um, I have a beautiful bracelet here, and that is on a toggle clasp. It is um, kind of like an acrylic frosted bead and some AB beads, and let's see. I think they're just acrylic, um, silver tone on this one. There is like a loose wire, so I don't know if that is supposed to go through that bead and came loose but it looks like everything is still functioning okay with it. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. So let's do $3 on that beauty. Very nice. A lot of times you don't get matches to the earrings, so I don't wanna to spend too much time on those. This Monopoly pendant went on this cord. Um, it's like a faux leather black cord um, with a Monopoly pendant. There's Monopoly money on that side and the game board on that side. That's really cute. 
There is some wear on the bail um, and a little bit on the metal, but not too bad. So I'll put that back on. Okay, I did get the pendant put back on. And um, it does show some wear, but overall not bad condition. Let's do three on that. Um, it's a pretty cool piece, very different. Next, I have another beaded necklace here, and this is a really fun green. And these are just plastic beads, and they are graduated um, with a silver tone lobster clasp and extender. And this one is in very good shape. Um, there is a little mark there, but that came off. So just a little bit of a wipe down needed. Um, let's do $4 on that one. Very cool. Ooh, this is pretty. Looks like a um, cameo style. And I think there's a lot of wear on the chain. And that one's pretty tangled, so we'll come back to it. But that looks like a promising piece, even um, without the chain on it. So this is like a snake chain and then it does not in the center. And um, it is in a gun metal. The clasp and the extender are in good condition. I don't see a maker's mark on that one, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, let's do $3 on that one. So, so far we're getting a lot of wearable items. Next, I have another necklace. This one does show wear on the clasp, um, but really nice beads. I believe those are glass, and then they do have spacer beads with a faceted clear rhinestone. So really pretty, it could use a cleaning. Let's make sure that's not a sterling clasp on there. No, it is magnetic, um, so we'll just do $3 on that one. Um, the beads and everything look like they're in good shape. Just wear on the clasp. Not bad. This one is cool. It looks like it could be a stone necklace. And um, I guess that charm goes there. So that one is also kind of tangled in with a few things. but I think I got that loose. So that's really pretty. Um, it almost looks like a turtle pendant on it. And this is stamped, I believe it says 925. Yeah, it says 925 on the back of the pendant there. Um, it almost looks like the Brighton tag, but it's not, there's no branding on it and then it goes into all of these stones so that's beautiful I will definitely need to do some research on that piece and test it and I will put some information on the screen um, but that is a great item so so far so good with this box I know you're dying to see that amber. Um, I will get to it as soon as I can, get it loose. So next up we have a silver tone necklace and this is um, like a collar length. And it does have some rhinestones on it. Um, there is definitely a little bit of wear. Um, but mostly on the back side, the front looks pretty good, um, but it is showing some wear throughout the chain. That one is just silver tone. Um, let's just do $2 on that one because it does show wear. We have a bracelet, kind of like an Alex and Ani style expandable bracelet. Um, this one is cute. It's got a baseball. Um, it's got a graduate, a J uh, with rhinestones, 
2018 for the year and remember the moments. There is a little bit of wear on the remember the moments tag, um, but really pretty. I don't know if this was customized and somebody put the different charms on it. Um, I don't see a brand and I assume it is just silver tone. Yep, so um, let's just do $3 on that one. It's pretty cool. Ooh, we have a beauty here. Um, this looks like it's vintage. We are missing a pearl. So we'll see if that turns up later. Beautiful gold tone um, with clear rhinestones. We are missing some stones as well. Um, quite a few rhinestones. Um, now those ones might be present, but they're just darkened. But that one looks like it's missing. So we're missing quite a bit on this. I'm just going to put this into craft, unfortunately. Um, but it is a really cool piece. I don't see a maker's mark. Maybe I do. Let's see. That's Trifari. That is Trifari. So I'm going to do a Google search on that one. And then um, I will see, um, you know, what this might go for if it was in better condition, if it's worth fixing. Otherwise, I'll just offer it as a repurpose. So I will put info on the screen on that. But um, I really love the gold tone on that. We have um, like some kind of shell maybe. And I don't see a maker on that one. Um, looks like we are show, uh, showing some wear. Definitely on the back. And this one is magnetic. Um, and it is showing a lot of wear. So I'm just going to put that one into craft. But it's a neat piece. All of the craft items um, are a dollar a piece. Up, I have a twisted seed bead necklace and it's in black, white, and gold. There is a loose strand or string here, so there might be a few beads missing, but it's definitely not evident. Otherwise, it looks like it's in good condition. It is silver tone metal with a lobster clasp and extender. Um, so let's just do $3 on that one, um, but it is pretty. Next, I have a bracelet set, and um, this is really worn here, so that'll just go into craft. I think this is broken off of an earring. And um, this is pretty, um, different like abalone and plastic and wood beads. Um, this might be handmade. The string seems kind of stretched out on it. And that is all magnetic, um, but some cool beads. Um, and yeah, some of that might be a stone. It is cold to the touch. So I do think it might be handmade. So um, it does have some wear, but it's not in bad condition. Um, a longer necklace. Let's do three on that one. Next up, we have a silver tone, um, and it's like a tassel pendant, really large. This definitely shows some discoloration on the tassel and on the chain. I don't see a maker's mark. Um, that one's going to go into craft. It does show wear. like we have a bracelet that is really pretty Let's see if I can figure out how this goes and it looks like it is signed keep collective so I'm not familiar with that I assume that's how it's supposed to look and it seems like it's kind of on the smaller side
So it is really pretty um, with like those turquoise colored um, beads on it. And it is showing some scratching, but overall it's not in bad condition. This one is sitting at um, about a six and a half. So I will put a price on the screen um, for that. I'm gonna look up that brand, um, but that is a nice item. We have one of these seed bead, um, one of these seed bead cuff bracelets. Um, looks like this one's in good condition, really pretty pastel colors. Um, we'll do $3 on that. This is a multi-layer, um, I guess, shell necklace. Really nice um, white shells. And then it's on a tan cord with a toggle clasp. Looks like there's um, like a blue string that's in there. And I don't believe this one is marked. Let's make sure that's not sterling on the clasp. It's not magnetic. Um, so really pretty. Um, there is a chip though out of that shell. So I'm going to see if the clasp is sterling and then I will put a price on the screen. It looks like it's in good shape other than a chip on the shell, um, which is not the end of the world. Let me just kind of get that straightened out. So there it is there. I'll put some info on the screen on that. This is pretty. Um, it is like a faux stone and a butterfly. And I think we have all of our rhinestones there. There's the back of it. Really pretty chain on this, very dainty. It is a lobster clasp. That is all magnetic. Um, the chain is like a bright silver. The pendant is a little bit um, darker. It does show um, like a pat patina look, but it is um, very pretty. I don't know if this is original to this chain or if something else was on there before. Um, let's just do um, $3 on that um, because the pendant does show a little bit of wear, but it's a cool item. We do have a ring here and this is marked. That is marked 925 and it looks like it could be a toe ring um, with a little swirl there. And it is adjustable. Um, it's sitting around a four and a half, but there it is down to a five, no problem. So it definitely shows a lot of tarnish. Uh, I will test it and make sure that it is sterling. Um, but you could use it as a toe ring or even a midi ring. Um, would be really pretty because it is adjustable. So I will put some info on the screen for that piece. We have just a thin bangle here. It's kind of misshapen. That one will just go into craft. We have a wrap bracelet in silver and gray. And then it does have like some AB rhinestones on the back one, that's really pretty. There is some scratching on the metal, but otherwise it looks like it's in good condition. The magnet is good. Um, so on that one, let's do um, $4. It is just faux leather, but it's really pretty.
This looks like it's broken, um, the ribbon cord that it's on, but the pendant itself is gorgeous. Really beautiful. Um, that one is magnetic. We'll just do a dollar on that. Um, it will need a replacement um, chain, but the pendant is gorgeous and in very good condition. So one dollar on that piece. We have um, like a glass and lava stone stretch bracelet. This one is chipped on that one. Um, so we'll just do a dollar on that. Amber keeps coming up, but it's still tangled. This is stunning, this beautiful red necklace, um, but it is broken and we are losing some beads as I speak. So I will put those all in a separate um, plastic bag and include it all um, for craft. That'll be a dollar. We did get a matching uh, pair on these earrings. Um, it looks like on that one we are missing a bead. So um, those will just go into craft for a dollar. Uh, they are post back, no maker's mark. Um, so just craft on those. Next up, we have a multi-layered beaded necklace. And unfortunately, it looks like the clasp is broken on this one. Let me see if this is signed. No, I don't see a signature on it. It's really pretty. It has um, like some frosted um, beads and metallic, but it is missing the extender part of the, for the hook the shepherd's clasp in. So that'll just be a dollar on that one. I have another necklace that's broken here. I'll see if I get any more parts to it, but it is um, like one of those bubble necklaces. And it's just kind of twisted. Um, but it's missing um, part of the necklace. So that's going to go into craft. And if I find the rest of it, I will add that in. So I will put a separate bag for that as well. And it looks like there is more than one amber necklace. Because this one was at the top of the box. And... Yeah, that is coming off, just a little marks on there. And this is a really cool screw barrel clasp. You can barely see it there. So that's neat. Um, beautiful amber. So I'm going to um, get my black light on that so I can make sure that it is amber, but it definitely looks like it to me. Um, and if that is, that is fantastic. So I will um, do some more research. I'll probably come back on um, once I can show you guys with the black light. So I will just move that to the side for now, but that is fantastic. And let's see what else we can do with this stack here. All right, next up I have a necklace. It is gold tone. Really cool hammered gold tone pendant with these um, little spikes hanging down. A little bit of wear, but not too bad. And it does come with an extender. And this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, let's do four on that one. That is pretty. This is a bracelet. It's definitely on the small side, but it is adjustable. Um, that could be amethyst on it. I am not 100% sure, um, but it's just on a black cord. Um, but it's really pretty and dainty. Let's do $3 on that. And next up, it looks like a wood bead necklace. There's something else 
tangled in there, but um, a cool tassel with the wood beads and a gold tone. And then it has metallic gold, greens, um, like a beige color, really neutral. And this one's in very good condition. I don't see a maker's mark on it. But it looks to be in very good shape. Even the gold tone, I'm not seeing much scratching on. So on that one, let's do $4. Um, a really nice neutral piece. And that would be really pretty going into fall. Next, there's a bracelet here. It says Tyler Dillon Austin Gavin Jackson. And it says, Lisa Lennard. So I'm not sure if that is a um, piece that was made for somebody with different names on it, or if that's a boy band that I'm not familiar with. So I'm gonna put that aside and see if that could potentially be sterling. Um, it is not magnetic and it is marked 925. So I will um, put some information on the screen about that one. Ooh, and we got our other amber piece loose. This one is um, in like oval shapes and there's um, multi, um, there's multicolored amber um, that would be like an egg yolk, I guess, and cognac. Beautiful. Um, now we do have one that looks like it's broken there. So that is a little strange because I'm not sure. Like the, it's not looking like it's really missing anything, but it is chipped. And sometimes the class can be hard to find on these. Here it is. This one is also a screw barrel clasp. Works really well. And this one is a nice length. So um, yeah, I mean, unless it's supposed to be like that at the bottom, because that would be the bottom of the necklace. I wonder if it had a pendant or something on it. Um, so yep, I will research that one and come back uh, with some more info. But those are fantastic. I absolutely love amber, especially for fall. It is just so pretty. Next we have a Coca Pelli necklace and this one is also on a cord. And he looks like he's got a little tarnish on him. He is magnetic, so not sterling. We'll just do $2 on that. He does show wear. We have some more 925 here. Now, um... These are different earrings though. So please, hopefully we get the match. Unless they would be where you wear different ones, but they're kind of very different. Um, so next we have a statement necklace. This has a ton of wear and we are also missing a stone there, one of the cabochons. I don't see a maker on that one. That is craft for a dollar. There is also verdigris. We have something new on the card in there. Next up, we have another bracelet. This one is actually Alex and Ani, and it looks like it might has an initial on it. I don't know if that is a C. Uh, it does show wear on this, um, and it is a little bit misshapen. Um, we'll just do $3 on that. All right, I got this um, beauty out here. It is a flower, um, like a cameo style, and it is showing wear. Gold tone bale, and there is a lot of wear on the chain and a knot. 
So I don't see any maker on it. This would be really pretty to uh, repurpose into a brooch as well. Um, but it is showing wear on the chain. So on this one, let's just do $3. Um, it definitely could use a replacement chain or it would be pretty to repurpose. Um, I do think this is um, maybe just plastic, um, but it's really pretty and detailed. Next, we have this bracelet, which um, definitely has a sterling appearance, like a bypass style. Um, let's see if that one is magnetic. It is not magnetic. I don't see any markings on that one, so I'm gonna look into that and I will put some info on the screen, but that is really cool. Next, we have a little choker um, on just a velvet cord and there is wear on there, um, so that'll just be a dollar. Next, we have another statement necklace. Um, this one is uh, really pretty rhinestones. And I do think all of them are present on this one, um, but it is showing wear along the chain. There is no maker's mark on there. Um, so on that one, we'll just do $2. It does show wear, but it is still wearable and pretty. Next, I have a memory wire, um, kind of illusion chain, or not memory wire, I meant illusion chain. Um, double strand necklace, really dainty. And it's really misshapen at this point. I don't know if that can be straightened back out. And this one is uh, not magnetic, so it's just silver tone. We'll just do $2 on that one because it is pretty kinked, but it is um, really pretty and dainty. He is large and he's pretty articulated. Um, really good condition. All of his stones are there. And I do not see a maker on him. And yeah, overall, um, not bad condition. Um, let's do $6 on this. Very fun piece. Here's the rest of that bubble necklace. I will include that with the other portion. Ooh, that says Thailand 925. Unbelievable. So that is great. Um, Thailand 925, and then it says Extraordinary Life. And it's not magnetic. So there's been quite a bit of sterling in here. So I will definitely research that piece as well. Oh, how cute is that? That definitely has a sterling appearance. Now, is that an earring? Or maybe that could be clipped on like a pendant or something. So I don't think that's necessarily an earring. So that may not be a deal breaker if we don't get an, another one. All right, I think we have this necklace isolated. These multi-layer necklaces always cause so many problems. Um, this one is silver tone, and it does have some like abalone chips and some pink and kind of um, like a brown acrylic and um, really pretty, and it is in good condition, just very susceptible to tangles. Um, let's do $5 on that piece, um, really long statement piece. Well, that was a good item. Next, I have another multi-layer necklace. And um, I guess that it goes around the back. And then it has some um, little leaf pendants. And it's kind of two different shades of gold tone. And then it does have clear rhinestones. And it looks like everything is there. It's in pretty good condition. Um, let's just do $3 on that one. 
Next, I have a stretch bracelet that says Survivor. Um, really pretty mint green um, little, I don't know, I guess they're just plastic probably. Um, we'll just do a dollar on that. Next up, we have like a bronze tone. I think these are just plastic, um, kind of frosted beads. And in really good condition, it looks like. We'll do three on that one. To get this one free. And this looks like it's in good shape. These are just acrylic and it's like a crackled pink. And then a faceted gold tone. Um, really pretty, let's do three on that one. This one is a bird necklace and definitely shows tarnish on this. And it is a lobster clasp. This one is magnetic, so it's just silver tone. Um, this one is gonna go into craft because it does show a ton of wear. Next, we have a multicolor um, acrylic beaded necklace, and it's multi layer on like a gunmetal chain. And it looks like this one is in good shape, really pretty. So um, let's do $4 on that one. And I will check it over to make sure everything is present, but it's really sweet with the little um, rhinestones there on the stations. This is from another necklace, so that didn't come off of that. Um, but that's really pretty. So let's do four on that one. Next, we have a silver tone um, chain link necklace. I think this one is just silver tone. It was pretty um, with the rhinestones, but it is showing a lot of wear and discoloration. It is not magnetic. Um, it is branded. Let me check this out. That one is Sarah Coventry. So I assume um, this is just silver tone. Um, we will put that one into craft, but it is a nice piece. Um, it may be able to be cleaned up. And I do think all the rhinestones are there. So Sarah Cub, that will be in craft for a dollar. Next, we have a silver tone tassel pendant necklace um, with silver tone balls and then the rhinestone. And this one looks like it is in good condition. It's got a double lobster clasp, um, but it looks like everything is present. We'll do $3 on that one. Got something else free here. This is beautiful, really dainty, um, kind of like a rose quartz colored with gold tone station beads. And um, I think this one is a double layer, which is why it was causing the issues. but it is gorgeous. Um, the top layer has just a single rhinestone. The top layer just has a single rhinestone, um, like diamond shaped pendant. And then the bottom layer is like a rose quartz um, color. That is stunning. So on that one, let's do $5. Um, beautiful, I do not see a maker on it, but it is stunning. So really dainty and sweet. All right, I got some more things untangled here. Next is this um, brand new on the card um, universal thread, really dainty stretch bracelet. And this is um, genuine stone, it says. So um, let's do $4 on that. That is really pretty. So I'm guessing that's like a howlite and a gold tone. Really nice. Next is just a plastic beaded necklace. And I'm not really sure if that is a clasp or what that is, um, but it's really short. We'll just do a dollar on that one. Next is a NY piece. And this is um, like a gold tone. It shows a lot of wear along the clasp. And then it has these dangles, a tassel, um, the gold tone with a rhinestone, 
this bar, a mother of pearl, um, and that. So the chain definitely shows a lot of wear and discoloration, so that'll just be in craft. This is really pretty, um, a dainty necklace. We are missing the center stone. This one is unsigned and it is magnetic, so that will be craft as well. And um, I got this troublemaker undone. These are wood beads and it's really long, so that could definitely be doubled up. And it looks like it's in good condition. I don't see any issues with it, so we'll do $3 on that one. And this beauty here, um, I do think these are glass and they are a really nice green and gold tone. This is the one that the clasp is broken on, but it's definitely long enough where you can put it over your neck. I'm trying to find where the clasp is. It's just missing the little um, thing there to open it, but it does stay secured. So um, you can still wear it, just putting it over your neck. You just wouldn't be able to double it probably without the clasp. So on that one, let's just do $5. It's really cool and the green beads have a lot of dimension. They kind of look like marbles. So on that one, we'll do $5. Next, we have another long necklace here and it is a double strand chain. And it is gold tone and it has a leaf pendant with clear rhinestones. Really pretty metal work on that one. And this one does show wear, but it's not in horrible condition. Um, we'll do $3 on that. And it is an interesting double layer necklace. Silver tone and it does have some mixed metal um, pendants. That one's gold tone with black cabochons. Really pretty, and then there is a layer of faceted beads, really dainty. And this one does not have a maker's mark on it, but it looks to be in good condition. That one is magnetic. Um, let's do five on that one also. Really pretty. All right, finally got this one free here. I really am not a fan of these double layer necklaces in these boxes because it causes a lot of problems. This is another illusion chain and it's very kinked and I don't see a brand on that one. Um, it is still in wearable condition, but it needs some work um, getting it straightened up. So on that one, let's just do $2. All right, next I have just some plastic faux pearls. Those will be a dollar. And I'm just gonna put this into craft. I think it is some kind of double layered necklace, but it's still tangled, so that will be in craft. And here is the remainder of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that out. Here's our piece of missing amber that was chipped off. So I will definitely put that aside. We have some new on the card, um, look like vintage earrings. And um, I think they're just plastic, they're unlimited collection. Um, we'll just do two on those. We have a um, kind of mint green adjustable bracelet. This one does show some discoloration on the cord, so we'll just put that in craft for a dollar. We have this bracelet here. It's like a silicone, and I don't see a maker mark on that one. I think I've gotten one like this before. Um, we'll do $3 on that. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. And it might have a maker on the back here. Got a key on it. And I think I've seen this before, but I can't remember the brand. So we'll just do $3 on that one. All 
Next, um, this is not good stretch. It's got like a jingle bell on it. That'll be in craft. This is a substantial bangle bracelet, gold tone. I don't see a maker's mark on that one. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Let's see if we can get a size on this. That does fit a um, eight inch wrist, so it is a larger size. Um, we will do $5 on that one. It does have some weight to it. Earring in there. We have a expandable bracelet that has the tree of life on it. Um, this is Earth Angel. This one is in good condition. Um, we'll do three on that one, really pretty. That is a really sweet pendant um, with a sun on it. And there is a little bit of dis discoloration on the bail, but otherwise it looks like it's in good shape. We'll do $2 on that. Stretch bracelet here, um, that'll just be a dollar. It's a thin uh, bangle, that'll be a dollar. Might be an anklet. Um, it's definitely too big for a bracelet. And it has a lock and key. And there is just a little bit of wear on the clasp. That is magnetic. Um, we'll do $2 on that one. This is a really pretty bracelet. Could be vintage. Um, it is clear rhinestones. Really pretty on. And it looks like everything is present on that. That is sitting at a size seven. And it is magnetic. Let's do $5 on that one. It is absolutely stunning. That is absolutely stunning, this earring. Um, gold tone, this looks vintage with AB rhinestones. That would be pretty to craft with as well. I don't think we got a ton of earring matches, but I will go through them at the end. We did get a few pairs of screw backs, or not pairs, but single screw back earrings. Um, this is like hematite, and I guess it's a stretch bracelet. And that has some charms on it. This is really pretty. It looks like it's in okay condition. There is something going on with the stretch there. Um, oh, and I just broke it. So that will be in craft. We have some more earrings here. This one is like some kind of clip. I don't know what for. Um, but it looks like it's in okay shape. That'll just be for a dollar. Some more beads here, earring. This is beautiful. I don't know if it was a brooch or what this was. It is missing a stone there and there's no, I guess it was a pendant. There are small little hooks. So it must have had a chain running through and um, I don't see a maker's mark on it. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to go into craft, um, but if you could get a replacement stone um, and actually the metal part of it might be broke too. Um, that would be a stunning brooch if it could be fixed. So that'll be in craft for a dollar. And our last item here is a Chico's necklace. And this is a double layer again, very long, mixed metal. And 
and um, this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's a little bit kinked, but nothing too bad. Um, there is some discoloration along the chain. So on that one, let's just do $3. It does show some wear. So I'm going to go through the earrings and see if we got any matches or if there's any fun ones that might be good for craft. All right, so the only match that we got were these wavy, kind of hematite looking um, hoop earrings. These look to be in good condition. I will put some replacement backs on those. Um, so we'll do $3 if anybody likes those. I will need to test um, the potential sterling ones. Um, but there were no matches, unfortunately. Um, these two might be fun to craft with. Um, there was no brand on them, but they're really pretty. Look like vintage rhinestones. So I'll just do $2 for both of those. And if anybody wants this horse one, um, we'll just do um, $2 on those. I think it is some kind of maybe pendant or you could clip it on a keychain or something like that. So it is cute. So two on that one. And um, this one, I didn't know if maybe could be Bakelite. So I was gonna test that one as well. This one is signed and it's Don Lim. So I was gonna look into that one. This is Givenchy. So that is um, unfortunate that we did not get a match to that. It does show a lot of wear and it's not precious metal. It would just be costume, but um, you know, some of their pieces do go up pretty high. And this one is really substantial, but there was no um, maker's mark or match to it, unfortunately. And then I don't think this one is sterling, but it's not magnetic, so I was gonna check it out. So, um, and then I did have um, all of these over here were just singles. But um, there were some nice pieces in this box and some sterling. So no complaints here. It was fun to go through. Thank you for hanging out and watching the video. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you see anything that you'd like to purchase, don't forget to send me an email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.